cryptocurrencies, cannabis stocks, and CEO interviews brought to you by Rich TV Live. What's up, guys? Aaron here from the Project Capital, and we're here with Rich TV Live. Always love having Rich on the show. How are you doing, Rich? I'm doing great. How are you doing today, Aaron? I'm doing awesome, and I'm really looking forward to this uh, this talk because we're talking about two really awesome companies, two really awesome topics. So the first thing I want to uh, ask you, because I don't want to waste any time, ACB. So as we know, now it's official. ACB is going on to the NYSE. How do you feel about the listing oh. and... The NYSE versus the NASDAQ, do you feel there's any difference? Do you think there's a benefit one over the other? Just let us know how you feel. I'm very excited about the news. I have said since day one that Aurora Cannabis will follow in Cannabis Grow's footsteps and list on the New York Stock Exchange. Once again, Richard Domus was correct. And <laughs> I'm not surprised because the NASDAQ is a short driven marketplace. Why would Aurora Cannabis want to be listed in a short driven marketplace when they want to see their price appreciate the New York Stock Exchange is the right place to be. So it was the right decision. That's the reason why I said from day one, they should go on the New York. Um, a lot of people are like, they're going to do a reverse. They're going to do a reverse. I'm like, no, they won't. No, they won't. I kept saying it. No, they won't. No, they won't. No, they won't. And I was 100% correct about that as well. They don't need to do a reverse because the price is going up regardless. Now, what do yeah. I think about the price? Um, you know, like it's tough. It's tough, you know, because it's, I don't like to predict short term. Yeah. I'm more of a long term investor. I have been in, I have been buying Aurora cannabis since it was at $1.50. It is at $13 right now. Do I think that it could go higher? Of course. But we have to remember that they have like close to a billion shares issued outstanding now. So for every dollar it goes up, it's increasing its market share by $1 billion. So at some point, they have to be able to justify their market cap. So totally. it's difficult for me to predict that, to be quite frank. Do I think it's going to go up over time? Yes. But I think it's going to be based on their acquisitions. It's going to be based on their revenue. And right now, all of the stocks in the marketplace are overvalued. Canopy Growth is trading at like 250 times revenue. Yeah. Tilray is trading at 200 times revenue. Uh, Aurora Cannabis is trading at 150 times revenue. So it's very difficult for me to predict how high it's going to go when it's already gone up a thousand percent. So can it go up? Yes. Can it go down? Yes. You know, I've been telling everybody, buy on rumors, sell on news. If today you were in the green, today was the day to sell. That's all I can say. I say the same thing over and over again. And then when it goes red, instead of panicking like everybody does, that's when you buy. It's mm -hmm. so obvious. I mean, I say it every day, but people keep doing the opposite. They buy in the green and panic sell in the red. And I always say, why? So what do you think will be the catalyst moving forward to drive the market after legalization? You know, what do you think is going to be the things that are going to move the market up or down? Revenue. Acquisitions and revenue. These companies, as soon as October 17th hits, they are going to be legal, which means they are going to start generating revenue. They're going to yeah. start acquiring private companies more aggressively that have real revenue that is audited on their audited financials. Two years of audited financials. Take those companies, acquire them with stock, put those revenues on their financials, on their balance sheet, build the bottom line, build their assets, reduce their liabilities. And these are winning, these are winning companies because these companies have lots of cash in the bank, tons of real revenue and real business that can be touched, not just R and D. Like there's companies out there that are just R and D research and development. Mm -hmm. These yeah, are exactly. companies with real products. CBDs are real products. Cannabis is a real product. You can touch it. So these I are companies that long-term I think are only going to grow based on real fundamentals. Yeah, I think now after the 17th, it's just a moment of truth. Like, it's just showing what we've been investing in and all these acquisitions before the 17th. Like, now it's just, you got to show it. 100%. Just, and a lot of these companies will. Uh, yeah, I agree. Will. I agree. So, ACB versus, you got it. This is just one stock I want to compare just because ACB has invested a bunch into T God. So, how do you feel about ACB versus T God? 
I love them both. I've uh, owned, bought, and sold them both. Uh, made money on both. Uh, I mean, what's not to like? T God is owned by Aurora Cannabis, 17.5% of it. They have an option to do another 8%, I think, in the next week. So I believe yep. they will exercise that option. So they will own 25% of T God. Yeah, I love them both. T God is going to be a huge winner. I called it since before they did their IPO. It's gone up well over 100% since I did my alerts. It's recently come back down now, which I believe is a buying opportunity. And I believe long term, they're going to be a huge success. Yeah, I believe that investment news is coming up this Friday. Yeah, and, and I believe they will exercise that extra 8%. Why wouldn't they? I mean, it's awesome. a great company. They have lots of money in the bank, no debt. This The, the Canadian companies are very conservative. I, I always try to stress this to American investors. Canadian companies are very conservative. They do not want to take on debt. If they do take on debt, it's through debt toxic financing, which okay. they can pay off with stock. So as long as there's a liquid market, they're literally paying their debt off with stock. So it's not really debt um, in the traditional sense. I don't like toxic financing, but a lot of these companies are taking advantage of a very liquid market. So it's smart. That's why they're raising yeah. hundreds of millions. And in some cases with canopy growth, they're raising billions of dollars. Yeah, not to mention how fast you guys managed to scale their production. Like they should, they'll have really good production real soon. Yes. So that's all good. So, okay, enough with these ones. We're going to get into the also something else that's very, very interesting, exciting, and it's been a wild ride. We're talking about Namaste. So Namaste fired back, and I want to hear it straight from Rich, though. Let's go, Rich. <laughs> Yeah, you know, Andrew Left is just a very interesting character. Uh, the president of Citron Research uh, has something against the cannabis sector. Clearly, the cannabis sector has been on a bull run of epic proportions, as predicted. And Andrew Left has decided to be Lex Luthor. He wants to be the cannabis kryptonite. Uh, he call him Dr. Evil. He wants to just short all the cannabis stocks in a bull market. So yep. I don't agree with his strategy. I think it's insane. But because he's a crybaby, every time he shorts a stock and it goes up on him, he chooses to go in on that stock and publish information that may or may not be real and may or may not be true. In fact, he has been charged before. He's been charged in Asia. And he can't trade, I believe he still can't trade in Asia. He's been banned from Asia for a few years because of his illegal tactics. And now he's using his illegal tactics here in Canada. And Namaste, Sean, the CEO, is fighting back and saying that he's not going to sit down. He has not done anything illegal. He is doing everything that he said he would do and following on his business plan as suggested in all of his press releases and that he will fight back legally against Citron Research and all of the accusations. I love it. I think it's a fantastic move by Sean. It's the only thing you can do when you've got a guy like this that is constantly attacking you and literally getting attorneys that are putting out litigation against the company, not just Namaste. He's now done this against CVSI, Kronos Group, and the ongoing litigations are getting ugly. He's attacked Tilray. He's attacked IGC. And Namaste. So who's next? Literally everybody is at risk from this evil empire. And yeah. I don't know what else to say other than it's sad. And I think the people should come together and we should put together a lawsuit against Andrew Left for all, all of our losses that we've incurred because of all of the lies and all of the bad press and news he consistently is putting out on behalf of these companies. Yeah, no, I agree. Like, look at, look at Namaste. They were at 380. Now they're at two bucks. And like, lots of I, lots of my members in my community and your community have lost money because of Andrew Left. And if he's found to be yeah. doing illegal activities and putting out illegal news, he should go to jail and he should pay for all of our losses. Yeah, exactly. And even, even the fact like I'm long term Namaste, I think it's fantastic coming and an awesome buying opportunity. I mean, what if you're a trader? What if you're not a long-term investor in Namaste? What if you bought at 380, you're expecting it to keep going up? Not to say that this stock has to go up, but for it to go down based on what he did and you lost money, say you already closed your trade, you already have lost money and that's all his fault. So yeah, I agree with you on that one completely. Yeah, it's, so, it, I don't understand the regulators, how they operate. 
Why is he allowed to destroy companies for his own personal gain? And yet, and take them to court. Mm -hmm. And yet nobody has any recourse against him. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. Even we've got Bloomberg like interviewing him. On, like, I mean, they just want the news. They just want the publicity like one way or another. And it's more exciting to interview someone who everyone hates versus the, the nice guy, right? So, I mean, I get it, but it's still, yeah, you're right. It's unfortunate. He wants fame. <laughs> when they said, they call him infamous. We are interviewing the infamous Andrew Left. And he's like, oh, why you gotta be, why you got, why do I gotta be infamous? Why can't I just be famous? I'm like, famous for what? You're the guy that shows up to the party uninvited. Nobody invited you here. We don't want you in the cannabis sector. We don't want you to have a cannabis ETF. We don't want you in the sector. We don't want you talking about the stocks. We don't want you in our community. We don't want you around. We don't even want you in our country. Yeah, it's ridiculous. I'll tell you right now, you're not even from Canada, and you left. You're not even Canadian, right? Don't even come to Canada. We don't want no. you here. We don't like, like you. We don't want you. That's just a whole nother level. The fact that he wants to put together a cannabis fund, like get out of here, man. What are you talking about? You want to put together a cannabis fund? So what? So you can eventually sue your own companies that you're investing in? It, it should be called the, the long, the long left short pick fund. Because <laughs> it's I, I, honestly, I don't know what to say about this character, but yeah, I guess this industry was on a bull run of epic proportions and every time you've got good you have to have evil and he is definitely very evil yeah unfortunately so i've got one more quick question then we'll wrap this up what do you think about the 66 percent move in igc yesterday i think that igc has a very tight float similar to tilray yeah it's gonna yeah. go up and down with regularity that's why you need to buy in the red and sell in the green and if you're buying in the red and you're selling the green you're winning yeah. Perfect. Well, it's always nice having you on the show, Rich. And I uh, look forward to many, many more collabs. And we're going to be doing this consistently, guys. So make sure to stay tuned. Make sure to expect more from us. So we just look forward to bringing you more stuff. So I want to say have a good day, Rich. Have a good day, everybody. And make sure to like and subscribe. Check out both our channels. And uh, we'll see you guys soon. Where are you, Andrew Left? Yeah, we're looking for you. See ya. All right.